Hello and cheers everyone. Back with another beer. I took a little beer shopping trip to Jersey <coughs> and picked up a nice little custom six pack. So I figured I'd review a couple of the beers that I uh, pr procured. Um, first one I want to do here is uh, definitely one of my favorites and uh, you'll, you'll probably hear me say that phrase a lot but really um, this is probably in my <clears throat> top five favorite beers. Um, this one is from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. A craft brewery called Shrugs. It is Shrugs Nugget Nectar. Um, they uh, they make a lot of good beer here. Obviously, they have a a pretty popular holiday ale, the uh, Mad Elf Holiday Ale. Um, Nugget Nectar is probably the best uh, brew that I've had from them. Um, it is a dark amber ale. Actually on the uh, label here it says Imperial Amber. Um, I've obviously had this before. Uh, it's a very hoppy beer and I would say it, it almost borders on being an IPA. Um, and I, th I think I've actually been in a bar where uh, the chalkboard uh, labels it as an IPA. <clears throat> But uh, Trogues calls it an imperial imperial amber, so that's what I'm gonna call it. Uh, it is 7.5% alcohol by volume. Trogues Brewing Company, Harrisburg, PA. Um, Hop Heads Nirvana. Experience a heady trifecta of nugget, warrior, and tomahawk hops. 93-ish IBUs. So, let's uh, open this, and uh, I've, I've seen this poured in, um, you know, tulip glasses and stem glasses. Uh, I've had it on tap, in goblets. Uh, I've seen it in pine glasses, which is what I'm going to use. This is my Scholar's IPA glass from Skag Skagit River Brewery, Mount Vernon, Washington. That was from my uh, unsuccessful... Um, Seattle to Vancouver uh, uh, pub crawl that I did uh, just last year. Uh, I'll go into that in more detail maybe some other time. But for now, let's pour this nugget nectar. Pours very nice. Has a nice rich golden to amber color as would be expected from an amber ale. It's clear, very clear see right through it, no haze at all. Um, pour a little less carefully or from a tap you'll get more of a head to it. It, it. it does usually have a nice head to it. I poured it a little bit too smoothly. There's a good amount of carbonation. I love this beer. <laughs> you get... it's a very... Um, you can smell the hops but they're not too strong. Um, it has a a very earthy, piney uh, aroma to it. Um, very inviting, so let's go ahead and take a sip. You can taste the hops right off the bat. Um, this is definitely a a hoppy beer. Um, like I said, I, I would say that it borders on being an IPA. Um, I've had IPAs that are weaker than this. Uh, and I say that not as a bad thing. Uh, I love IPAs. Um, IPAs are good. However, not everyone loves hoppiness in their beers. Therefore, not everyone loves IPAs. So I just figured I would mention that. But this is a hoppy beer, but it's also very smooth. Um, it has, it's a medium uh, mouthfeel to it. It's not very heavy uh, in the mouth, but it's not very light, that, uh, obviously. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of flavor. Uh, as good as this is, um, I can definitely say from memory that it, it tastes better on tap. Um, beers always taste different, you know, depending on how and where you drink them. Um, 
a, a beer will taste better on tap than it does in a bottle. Tastes better in a bottle than it does in a can. Um, the, <laughs> the closer you are to the source of the beer, uh, usually the better it tastes. Um, if you go to the brewery itself, you know, the beer is more fresh. Um, it's traveled less and therefore typically it'll taste better. I've found that usually that's true. Um, some beers obviously um, age um, better, similar to wine. Um, I, I mentioned before, uh, beer, most beers, it's best to keep them out of the fridge until you're uh, going to drink them or until you're going to prepare to serve them. Uh, generally, hoppy beers will um, will keep longer. Um, and of course, beers with higher alcohol content. Um, and what you definitely don't want to do when you're storing beer is start with cold beer, leave it out to get room temperature, and then refrigerate it again. That's a no-no. That's usually going to uh, cause some skunkiness and will probably ruin your beer. Um, that might not be true for all beers. I don't know. I haven't tried every single beer, but generally, I believe that's the uh, the rule. You don't go from cold to warm to cold again. You can start warm and go to cold, and that's usually what people do. <clears throat> but anyway, getting back to what we're drinking here. Um, I've covered most of uh, the details of this. As for drinkability, obviously, you know, I said it's one of my top five beers. Um, like I said, it's hoppy, but it's still smooth. It's got a lot of flavor to it, but it's not, you know, intimidating. You could drink a lot of them. Um, it's a good beer to drink with food, as are most hoppy beers. Um, it's got a bit of the aftertaste to it, which is obviously the hops, um, will be most of your aftertaste, uh, but other than that, it's, uh, yeah, it's very good, it's very enjoyable, very drinkable. Trogues Nugget Nectar, I highly recommend it, um, it's... I'm not sure if it's a seasonal or not. You may not be able to find it all year round. Mm. Yeah, I forget. Uh, I think it may be a seasonal, uh, but I'm not sure. But either way, it's worth uh, seeking out. Harrisburg, PA, so you'll find it mostly you know, on the East Coast, beer-centric bars. Highly recommended. Cheers.